Love knows no boundaries. Not even in death. As demonstrated by the touching story of a faithful dog. And his beloved owner. In this heartwarming tale. We discover the unwavering bond. Between a man named Mehmed Ilan. And his loyal canine companion, Caesar. Mehmed had been living a solitary life after losing his wife. And with his children grown and leading their own lives. He longed for companionship. That's when he decided to adopt a little black and brown puppy. Whom he named Caesar. From that moment. Mehmet and Caesar became inseparable. They embarked on countless adventures together. Exploring the outdoors. Going for long walks in the countryside. And even running errands in town. Caesar's presence filled Mehmet's life with joy and companionship. However, life took an unexpected turn when Mehmet became paralyzed. Despite this drastic change, the bond between the man and his dog remained unbreakable. Caesar continued to be by Mehmet's side, offering him comfort and motivation. Mehmet, determined to care for his loyal companion, summoned the strength to face each day, even when it seemed challenging. Although their long walks end, active playtime were replaced by different activities. Their love remained as strong as ever. Mehmet found joy in throwing a ball for Caesar to fetch. Watching the little dog bound across the open fields, these moments made him feel as if he had his own legs back again. And they served as a testament to the incredible connection between a man and his dog. As Mehmet's health declined, his faithful canine companion, Caesar, grew older as well. One day, Mehmet fell seriously ill. And Ali, his son, convinced him to seek medical attention. The family promised to take care of Caesar. While Mehmet was in the hospital, with tears in his eyes, the old man hugged Caesar tightly, scratched his ears, and gave him his favorite snack assuring his beloved dog that he loved him, and that Caesar should behave for Ali. It was a poignant and heartfelt farewell. Filled with love, Mehmet was admitted to the hospital, but his condition continued to deteriorate. Meanwhile, back at home, Caesar refused to eat. Despite the family's efforts to tempt him with food, Caesar seemed to understand that something was amiss. He wanted to be left alone and sought comfort from Ali's children. Resting his head on their legs. Tragically. It became evident that Mehmet might never return home. Days after their final farewell. Mehmet passed away in the hospital. While his family was deeply saddened. No one felt the loss as profoundly as Caesar did. The person who meant the world to him was gone forever. On the day of the funeral. When Mehmet's body was delivered back to the family in a coffin, Caesar was there, ready to pay his last respects and bid farewell to his best friend. Caesar sat beside the casket. His head bowed. For the entire service. He didn't bark or make a sound. His silent presence spoke volumes about. The deep bond he had shared with Mehmet. The overwhelming sadness was palpable. As Caesar grieved the loss of his beloved owner. A dog's loyalty and love enduring even in the face of death. As the family walked and carried the coffin to the cemetery. Caesar walked with them. Following closely behind. Some family members tried to pick him up to comfort him. But he resisted their attempts. Caesar's entire focus was on the coffin. It was only after Mehmet had been laid to rest covered in soil. That Caesar allowed the rest of the family to pick him up. Ali had promised to care for Caesar. And the dog now became a permanent member of the family. He had all he needed. But the loss of Mehmet weighed heavily on him. While Ali and his family provided Caesar with love and attention. Life had to continue. The children went back to school. And the parents had to work. Some mornings. 
Caesar would be left alone. On some of these mornings, Ollie noticed that Caesar would slip out of the house, escaping through a small hole in the fence that the family didn't even know existed. He would go on a mysterious adventure, leaving everyone wondering where he was going. However, in the afternoons, Caesar would be patiently waiting for someone from the family to return. Ollie became curious about Caesar's morning outings. So one day, he decided to follow him. As the family left the house, Caesar slipped out through the hidden hole in the fence. And Ollie followed closely behind. Caesar walked with purpose. Clearly having a destination in mind. Their journey took them through the entire town even past Caesar's old house. Ollie couldn't help but wonder if this was what Caesar had in mind. But the dog only paused briefly to look at the house. Before continuing on his journey, Caesar's daily visits to his owner's grave. At the cemetery are a powerful testament to the deep bond between humans and their animal companions. Despite Mehmet's passing, Caesar's loyalty and love for his best friend continue to shine through. These visits provide comfort not only to Caesar but also to Mehmet's family, who can share their grief with their canine family member. It's a heartwarming reminder of the capacity for animals to understand and grieve the loss of their loved ones. Many pet owners have experienced similar moments of connection and understanding with their furry friends during times of illness or loss. Animals may not express their emotions in the same way humans do, but their presence and actions often speak volumes about their deep attachment to their human companions. If you have any more questions or would like to hear another heartwarming story, feel free to ask. Heroes are great, but not everyone can be a hero. They have to risk their lives to serve and protect others. While one cannot predict how they will behave in critical situations, will they give up everything to help those in need? Or choose to stand by quietly for their own benefit and safety? The story we are going to tell today is incredible. Because this man got help when he himself was in trouble. And that help was related to the good things he had done before. Which could be karma. Let's get to the story. Alex got a job as a hunter. And his task was to protect the tigers from the bandits. He was such a principled and brave man that. He soon dispersed all those who were engaged in poaching. And even the notorious villains were afraid of him. Soon his area was restored to order. And everything was so peaceful and calm. The locals were so satisfied with Alex's peacekeeping work that they always turned to him for help. It was the early 2000s. And the logging industry was particularly booming. And they were cutting and exporting large amounts of timber without any permits. For these speculators, it was the equivalent of no government. Because they were backed by the big guys. They were willing to buy and pay for all the timber. And they were willing to suffer the consequences. Alex alone could not deal with so many of them. Because they were well armed and numerous. The only thing this man could do was. To collect evidence that they had cut down the forest. Without permission and send all the evidence to the capital. There. This plundering should be able to be resolved. Spring had arrived. The river was rushing. And the gradually melting ice stream was slowly moving downstream. Suddenly he heard a gunshot in the distance. So without hesitation he grabbed his gun and rushed in that direction. From the number of shots. They didn't sound like hunters who would always waste a lot of ammunition. When he reached the river. He saw a terrible thing, a bear with two cubs. Was running along one of the ice streams. And the lumberjacks on the other side were shouting and laughing. They shot at the poor animals with their weapons thus forcing them to run straight into the icy current. A few moments later, the bear fell into the water with its cubs. It had enough strength to swim against the current. 
and it finally made it to shore. But the cub was still struggling and crying. And it could not make it to shore. The cruel people on the other side of the river were still laughing at the poor animals and placing bets on who would and would not make it to shore. The mother bear roared mournfully from the shore as it called for its cubs to come to it. Seeing this scene, Alex immediately took off his heavy coat and boots. And without hesitation, he rushed into the cold water. He swam hard to where the first bear was. But he didn't have time to get it to shore first. So he tried to catch the second cub. Luck was on Alex's side that day. And God was looking out for them. He held both cubs in one arm and managed to pull them ashore. And he didn't even have time to be afraid. The huge female bear immediately ran up to him. But it didn't touch him. It understood that this brave man had just saved its beloved cubs. So it disappeared into the forest with its cubs. The man who was frozen returned home. Shivering and quickly went to get warm. He struggled for a long time to fight the disease. Because he had a bad cold that day. And could not leave his house for some time. When he finally recovered and returned to patrol. He was horrified to see the loggers mercilessly cutting down trees. All they left was the stumps. And he took his camera to capture the atrocity. So he could send it to government authorities. But unfortunately. He was noticed by the men and surrounded by them. And one of them pulled out a knife and started attacking him. The situation was very bad. Suddenly a huge bear jumped out of the bushes. And used its huge paw to throw the bad guys one by one. Alex recognized the three bears. As the ones he had rescued from the water not long ago. And they heard his cries and reached out to him. That day. This mother bear repaid him for saving its cubs lives. So friends. When nature sees that a person cannot cope with their misfortune. It comes to the aid of those who risk their lives to save innocent souls. It has always taken care of nature and its inhabitants. Because we share this planet. Some people cannot imagine life without their pets. And the pets they most often adopt are cats and dogs. For many centuries. These cute little pets have delighted people just by staying at home. But the pet adopted by the hero of our story today is not a cat or a dog. But a giant grizzly bear. Casey Anderson has dreamed of. Becoming an animal rescuer since he was a child. And now that he's a grown man, his dream has come true. Together with other rescuers, he regularly travels the neighborhood looking for animals that need help. On one occasion, they found several naked bear cubs, whose mother had been brutally killed by poachers. Without hesitation, Kathy took the cubs to her home. But unfortunately only one survived. Casey loved the little creature so much that he decided to keep it. He named it Brutus and built a special enclosure in his yard to protect it. At first, this little bear always stayed in its enclosure. But as it grew up, it began to grow bolder. It soon climbed into its owner's house. And they ended up eating at the same table. And sleeping in the same bed. Brutus even swam in its owner's pool. It really enjoyed its life in the human world. And it loved living with its owner. Brutus became a local celebrity. And it was even the best man at Kathy's wedding. Can you believe it? During this time. Brutus has never shown any aggression toward people. Either toward its owner. Casey. Or any of its family members. On the contrary. It would protect its family from strangers. Casey himself loves to talk about his pet bear. And he can't stop talking about it. But does he advocate having a wild animal in the house? The answer is no. After all, he says. He's lucky that it was Brutus he met. He says. I think the bear is great to be around. But I can't guarantee the same for other wild animals. Of course. 
there are situations in their lives where the bear is mischievous and it makes a mess of their house. When that happened, Casey would gently scold his pet. And then Brutus would hang its head guiltily as if seeking forgiveness. Such a sight touched Casey's heart. So he was never able to be angry with Brutus for very long. And in a short time he would forgive it. Many people have warned Casey that such cohabitation is dangerous for them and that they will one day experience something bad. Because wild animals must live in their natural habitat. Casey was sure that Brutus would not survive in the wild at all. Because it had lived in the human world since it was two weeks old. It had lost its mother too early. And its mother had failed to teach it, how to get its own food or avoid danger from nature. During the years it lived in Casey's home, it learned how to communicate with its animal friends. And was able to understand when it wanted to play. And when it needed to be left alone. According to Casey. He has taken all the safety measures in the house. In order to adapt to this cohabitation. And he is trying to prevent accidents. Through his example. Casey shows that even wild animals can be tamed. If you show them genuine concern and kindness. People only see grizzlies as potentially dangerous. He says. Thinking they are fierce and difficult to live with. In fact. They can be very cute. Animals can sense the kindness and friendliness of people. Do you think such cohabitation is dangerous for Kathy? Or are there exceptions in nature? If handled properly. Even the fiercest of animals can become as docile as a kitten. Please give us a like and subscribe to us if you enjoyed this story. Remember to share your opinion in the comments. And we will reply to your comments as soon as possible. See you next time.